My mom woke me up and everything was packed. We had a tiny suitcase with us, my brother and I, and my mom said, take all of your important things and we left. We never said goodbye to my father. For my mom, the solution to forget him was simple. She cut his image out of every photograph in our family album. But those holes made it harder for me to forget him. I often wondered what it would have been like to have a father. I still do. My work is often about my own family, about the past, about memory. And this project is one of the first projects that really inspired me to look inwards, to start exploring my own family history. My parents met in university in Armenia. My mother had just turned 21. It's strange to look at images of them together. They look so happy, so in love. All I ever knew was her disappointment. I was born in Russia at a time when the Soviet Union collapsed and my family, like a lot of Russians, became desperate overnight. My mom wanted something more for her life. She always did. I also had an absent dad. She didn't have a relationship. She didn't have a family beyond my brother and I. And we left. I never thought we would wouldn't see my dad again, never thought we wouldn't see my friends again. We just left and it took me two decades to go back. So this is a suitcase that my grandfather put together of things that he had collected over the last 20 years while we were missing. So there's a shirt from my brother's future wedding, dozens of returned letters, a newspaper clipping, it's called Missing Point and says that we were taken to America by our mom and he doesn't know where. And if there's anyone who knows anything, I could write to him. I wanted to find my father. I was separated from him when I was seven. You know, almost 20 years later, I wanted as an adult to know who this man was. I just happened to be in Armenia. My brother was with me and I remember finding his house and we said we were his kids and he said that he didn't believe us. This was one of those days where I felt really lucky to be around my dad. We were on a boat and we were paddling together and he was teaching me. There are moments when he feels close but then all of a sudden he's gone. Collaborative photography gives way to better storytelling. I learned this with my father. He had seen the images and he said, look, I don't see myself in your images. I'm like, well, you're in every frame. He said, my voice is missing. The collaboration started not so much, he's gonna take pictures, he's gonna write. It's more like he's gonna think with me. Not everything was one story, one truth. When you have two parents, it's the basic, isn't it? And when you're not given that, you're always trying to find a way to make up for it. When I look at my dad, I think that he's the exact person I needed in my life. Our relationship has really become one of love. <laughs>